Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I am Julia. If you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back. Now, today, as you may have seen from the title, is a PLT X Molly May collection review. Now, I absolutely loved the pieces when they came out and I couldn't wait to get them, but then of course, I waited a bit until the sales came and the prices went down because that's what I do. You know, if you're new here, that's what you should do. Anyway, if you're a student trying to save money, that's a great way to get your bargains. Anyway, I wanted to review the new Molly May collection because I just thought they were fantastic. There was something a bit different, but it's kind of like the staple with a twist. I got about probably five pieces from the collection i didn't get the entire collection because it was it was a bit too pricey to buy everything so i just got the staple pieces that i knew that i would wear over and over again and the pieces that i was like no i need those get in my bag come with me and that's exactly what today's haul is so let's get on to the video so i have the three items on right now i just couldn't start the haul without wearing my three best pieces that i was like do you know what i'm gonna grab these and go now when i saw these on the website on molly may i was just like now i need this set for the summer i do have to say that the quilted fabric is a bit warm but if you live in the uk if you know what the weather is like, especially in the afternoons, it starts getting a bit nippy. Now, if you don't know what that word means, it means it's cold. And it gets a bit freezing, it gets a bit windy, so it's always good to have like a jacket on hand. So when I saw this set, I was like, oh my god. Number one is quilted, number two is that beautiful chocolate brown, and three is a cord sold separately in brackets. So I'm going to show you what the details look like up close, and I'm just going to talk through them. If you can see here, it is this quilted blazer, bra top, and short set, but they are sold separately just in case if you're wondering. So this is the details up close of the blazer, and it is a very tailored blazer, but it's almost like... I think on the website it said oversized, I'm not quite sure, but it's a very boxy cut which I think is really flattering, especially if you have a short torso like me, it just makes you look a lot longer. But also the way it cuts, it cuts exactly where your thinnest point is, just a bit above it. So if you know anything about body enhancing, if you cut anything above where your thinnest part of the waist is, it makes it look smaller. So as you can see, it just, it flatters you in the right way and I just, I love it. Anyway, I'm going to go on to the shorts now, a very, almost that, what do you call them, vintage shorts. I remember buying so many shorts like this in the summer last year and I have them in every single colour apart from this chocolate brown. But the thing I love about it is this waffle texture fabric. It is a bit thicker compared to your normal shorts. As you can see, it's quite thick, but I actually appreciate that because it's not nippy and I just like the way they go out a bit. I find it very cute. And of course, this is what the shorts look like and the tag is still on, so don't worry. I'm actually wearing a bra, I would say like a bralette top. It does come with a fastening of a bra. Now, one thing, I did get a size six because I'm tiny and I have no boobs at all. Is what it looks like when you hoist them up. Now, realistically, they're not gonna stay for this long. Now, probably by the time I finish saying the sentence, my boobs are gonna drift apart because there isn't anything there. So if you're a tiny, tiny, itty bitty boob committee girl like me, or a boy, this is gonna be fine. You know, I can move, nothing's gonna pop out. I mean, there isn't much to pop out anyway. Nothing's gonna pop out and you're gonna be secure. Now, if you're a girl with, say, bigger bust sizes, I don't know necessarily how this is gonna fit unless you're gonna do the under boob trend. So it's kind of gonna be like a bandeau with some under breast, under bust coming out. I'm not that type of girl. And for me, it fits perfectly. So as you can see here, it fits perfectly, but you can see a bit of underboot cu coming from me. So I'll just, you know, say if you have a bigger bust, size up, but also you might pop out. Apart from that, I actually love it. I actually love it as a cord and I know that when I film stuff on YouTube everything is quite condensed and cropped because you can't see my full length so if you want to see the full length you know head to toe in a reel go down here on my Instagram and you can see everything in its full glory head to toe shots so yeah I'm gonna go on to the next three items or two items I think it's next two items. I'm not sure. I'm going to go into the next. I'm back with the next three items. And first of them, I'm going to talk about this top over here, which is an underwire. It's almost like, I would say, 
a bra looking sort of top i have to be honest it's not my favorite especially because i have no boobs so it just makes me look a lot flatter than what i am i need a lot of support especially you know i just need the girls a bit here and a bit more push up and a bit more like padding quarter pounders chicken nuggets whatever you want to call them i need them in there now without it i look very flat which i'm very conscious of i've always been conscious about that and i'm going to be honest with you guys because you know it's okay these things happen i was born quite flat chested and it is what it is so if you're a nitty bitty titty committee girl don't worry i've got you anyway i think the detail is really flattering it's beautiful it's ruched it kind of does make you look like you have a bit more now when i look from the side you really i don't know if it's flattering or not but i do think the shape is really pretty especially in the summer but my issue is that it looks too much like a bikini a bra now if i'm going i don't know say dubai bora bora spain somewhere that's in the beach i would definitely be rocking this because it kind of you know you can get away as like a swimsuit or a top but if i'm here in the uk i don't think i could get away with it i mean if you're one of those girls that can do it you go coco for me i feel a bit like insecure so i was like no anyway i'm going to get on to this next item which is this oversized blouse now i got it bear in mind that i got it in a size six but it's still oversized so it is this beautiful champagne blouse and it comes with these beautiful cuffs as you can see here and I'm obsessed. Now you can button it up quite a lot or it's, I'm just going to show you the length but it is very long. Now they come with a matching pair of trousers as you can see here. They are not a set so if you want to buy them separately you can do that. The issue with this is that they're extremely long. Now when I say extremely long my foot ends here and I still have this much. I am five foot three just for reference and they are <laughs> up here so it's not the way i'm wearing them it's just that they're extremely long now if you're very tall you can get away with these i think if you wear a pair of high heels you can get away with it now, now i'm five foot three so they're extremely long even if i put heels they'll still be like underneath my heels so i will be ruining them i could get them tailored i can do it myself but i just wanted to let you know if you're interested or if you're very short like me so this is the texture of the blouse it comes in this beautiful almost like a pleated i don't know if it's like a chevron textured material and the color is everything that i want in a blouse now how would i wear this if the trousers fit me in an ideal world. I would probably wear this like so on holiday or maybe because the straps are really pretty. I'd probably wear it like this. I kind of like that look that it's kind of disheveled. And this is what it looks like in this all. I mean, it's very comfortable and I just love the subtle details. Like the waistband is a normal satin waistband that looks just, it looks flattering and beautiful. And yeah, it's just very easy to wear, very billowy. And I think it's fabulous. Now, if you want to buy them separately, you can do that as well. I think this shirt on its own with a pair of jeans would look so pretty. The color is lovely. It just, it suits any type of skin tone and that's why I love it. I wish the trousers were a bit shorter but me being me I'm gonna cut them and I'm gonna hem them in so they're perfect length. The colour is stunning. I love the material and it's very easy breezy. It's something that you can chuck on and look so expensive. I mean Molly May did a good job. I don't know if she designed these or she had a team of designers with her but they did such a good job in terms of quality. You do pay a bit more but when I say a bit it's like tiny like two three pounds more than your normal PLT range but it is worth it in my opinion because the fabric choices are spectacular I just love the way it feels and now the eye for details is just it, it is what it is it's amazing and I love it I'm gonna go on to the final item which is this tank top now you're probably looking at me thinking don't you have like 10,000 of them yes I do but it's the way it cuts here that I love it. I know that it's the most basic thing that anyone could ever ask for, but it is just perfect. It is that staple, but with a twist, and that's all I need in my wardrobe. I love staples that I can rewear, but it's not exactly the same as everyone else. Just want to show you how 
thick this ribbed fabric is like it is thick and it is beautiful and the way that it goes in here so deeply in i just think it's beautiful i just paired it with the shorts that i showed you before but i would realistically wear it with a pair of jeans and this is what the tank top looks like and if you do wear a bra like me that's quite thick banded it does hide them so yeah you could wear a bra with it just take the straps off and you'll be fine and i just love it the color is beautiful i love the the way that it's like, oh, I just love it. So yeah, this was my review of the PLTX Molly May collection. Apart from that and the length of these trousers, everything else was lovely. I'm definitely going to be keeping this shirt and I'm going to be keeping the trousers, but I'm going to hem them up. And I'll be keeping the brown quilted set because I think that's beautiful and it's just it's so me it's something that i would wear to the office minus the bra top i could not wear that to the office but i would change that with something cute a tank top or something i don't know i would put something underneath it and wear it as a set i think it's stunning so i hope you enjoyed this review i know it was very short compared to the rest of them i didn't ramble as much because i know what you guys are like anyway if you did like this video please subscribe to my channel because i would love to see you here and make sure to thumbs this up if you liked any of the items and and also comment down below which Molly May item you liked or what you would buy from the collection because I would love to know. Please follow my Instagram which is down below here because I post daily reels. Now I am on a run. I am posting one reel every single day of the whole month and I'll be doing it next month as well. So I'd love to see you there. Until next time, I'll love you and leave you. Bye.